What's up guys? It's Shani with Healing Elements. How are you guys doing out there? Just adding another addition to the spirit animal playlist that I'm working on and this one is all about the crab spirit animal. I have been saying in most of my videos for the spirit animal playlist that if you have ever resonated entirely or thought of a specific animal as your spirit animal or animal totem, perhaps I've always, you know, already uploaded that animal onto the playlist. See if you can take a look, if it's there, if any of the traits resonate. Just curious if you want to drop a comment. I would love that. Love feedback. I went ahead and did a um, subscriber's request and uploaded the dolphin and another subscriber's request for the bull. So any requests that you have as well for any different animals, I'm down to completely work on. I love doing it. It's, you know, interesting to me that everything in life can be used metaphorically or as an analogy within themes. Um, so if you relate at all to um, any specific spirit animal, you know, like I said, perhaps take a listen. But this one, guys, is about the crab spirit. This is all about the crab spirit animal. So crab spirit animal energy is beautiful and it's comforting. You find comfort in passionately protecting things, obviously an ode to the protective nature of the crab having a shell, right? So anywhere from protecting your own privacy to, you know, the loyal protection that you possess to those that you love, you know, you will bear your pinching claws to protect anything sacred to you. Basically, you often, you know, protect and guard your sensitivities and tenderness closely as well, because like the crab in nature, you do have a delectable tender inside, right? Some people like to eat that and you have then therefore a defense mechanism with that hard exterior armor shell, right? So if you resonate with the spirit animal of the crab, you know, you only show you know, a very select few, you know, people, your absolute delectable, velvety, tender, soft core and deep feelings. This is also alluding to you guys um, with crab spirit, not trusting immediately, taking a long time to gather trust and, you know, being particular on who you allow to stay within your presence and your vicinity. So, you know, an unlikely foe is something that is also a symbol with the spirit animal. You know, you are so tender with people, usually, because you are, you know, kind-hearted and very emotional, very deep, deeply sensitive. So when you're so tender with somebody, um, you know, the first time that you show how formidable and pain-inflicting you know, if provoked that you can be, people are often stunned, like literally stunned and draw, jaw dropping, you know, type of thing. It's just the attack can be really bold and come out of nowhere and very quick, right? And it's very, you know, effective because the crab, if you've ever been pinched by one, has a very strong grip. Right? So very protective and able to protect yourself with what you have, your armor and your claws, so to speak. So anything that you have in your skill set, especially these um, emotions that you're able to profess in a very, very effective way verbally as well, a communicator of these things, you definitely do not uh, shy away from any kind of verbal exchange, you know, definitely ready to defend and protect. And you also are so, so, so deeply emotionally sensitive, you can often be easily hurt, right? Being so sensitive. But then again, here comes the strength, the duality between tenderness and strength. Um, you know, the crab spirit is representative of tender inside versus hard shell outside, right? So when you're hurt or you've been damaged, you've had a wound inflicted emotionally, physically even, you can bounce back just like a crab in the wild you know, has his claw torn off and is able to regenerate and bounce back. You know, you grow a brand new limb. You grow something brand new out of what has been destroyed, right? You're always ready to quickly do this and quickly heal from whatever has hurt you, coming back even stronger. Um, the crab spirit animal is symbolic of using long, long drawn out periods of time too, to your advantage for introspection, deep deeply important for your life path and your soul journey 
introspection. So, you know, self-reflecting in ways that you've transformed and how you will, you know, reinvent basically and transform yourself once again. You know, um, also the crab spirit animal is symbolic of duality itself and the importance of duality and, you know, seeing things for both the tough and the soft themes in life. You know, you have tenderness internally, like the crab and rock solid protective armor again on the outside, like a crab. And you know how to use each one of those and what situation is appropriate to do so as well. So you have great discernment if you resonate with this. Um, also, you know how to tap into the spiritual realms are extremely sensitive, like, you know, an earthquake Richter scale to energies around you, environmental energies, haunted houses, things like that. People that are up to no good. You're very empathic, very sensitive and deep by nature, often psychically gifted too, in a lot of, you know, uh, modalities and practices, definitely one who is able to convey and easily get a clear picture through the veil, you know, someone on the other side is always open to you. You seem to have a spirit guide that you've always connected with one or more, and you constantly are being in that introspective, self-reflective mode with that opening of spirit and allowing, you know, higher beings, higher power to, you know, get into your thought process. And meditation is something that you also are uh, prone to do because you want to connect to that on that level. Uh, this energy, this crab spirit animal is also symbolic of the moon itself, just like in the zodiac, the sign of cancer born at the end of June and the rest of July, toward the end of July it ends. Um, you know, the moon is, you know, what their planet or what their celestial body is. And also the crab is the animal that represents that zodiac sign. So, you know, the moon is very, very attached to the crab spirit, just like the owl is in the owl spirit. The, you know, crab's intuition, your intuition that you possess, you know, um, when being guided by the moon is incredibly powerful and strong in nature. So you often are affected, affected very, very, very much from the moon and its cycles, especially full moons. So you're able to really put your creative juices flowing and get a lot of work done and be guided to get into more of those, you know, spiritual realms when the moon is full. So again, um, the moon is cyclical and this spirit animal, if you relate, is also indicative of cyclical, you know, systems, cyclical periods of time, even history might, you know, call out to you, getting to know how things evolved through cycles. This is something that's definitely symbolic of the spirit animal. And, you know, if you relate, then you seem to yourself go through many, many, many extreme and often drastically dramatic changes in your life. Total transformations is a big theme with this spirit animal of the crab. Metamorphosis is something you enjoy doing and the genesis of a, a whole new look, maybe a whole new career, a whole new attitude in general or approach to things or a whole new commitment on going down a different path or agenda is a lifelong constant for you. You are constantly changing and like a hermit crab gets shells as needed for growth you are easily able to dump something that is no longer of use to you, cut the cord and obtain something more strong, more sturdy, more useful. So with transformation completely changing in a big way, you know, is being the norm for you. It's just very easy for you to confidently drop one relationship or confidently drop one toxic part of your existence if you deem it to be so, even if it never seemed to you before, you're just really quick with, you know, changing and transforming at all times, you know, even 20 times a day if you need to, right? You wake up the next day, another day has gone by, but tomorrow is a new day is your attitude. And just like the crab would be on a beach, you know, and it'll sometimes walk sideways, right? Instead of straight uh, forward and back. 
and maybe over hurdles of rocks when it seems like it didn't need to take that trail. You know, those who resonate with the spirit animal of the crab can often see situations objectively, just looking and using all different angles, looking at different angles to solve a problem or, you know, to put themselves, to put yourself in another person's shoes, seeing things from another side, from the other person's perspective. You really hold this in high regard and, you know, Again, just like the hermit crab, you want to jump into someone else's shell. You want to, you know, jump in to be sure that you are seeing from all different points of views. Very, very liberal energy with the crab spirit, even though you're, you know, equipped to go to battle if need be. You, again, embody that duality of, you know, being a, a peaceful person or wanting to at least you know, always come across and get to things in a liberal, peaceful, seeing things from both side point of view. However, it's, you know, your nature to be fierce in defense with, you know, your everything. And so that's the duality that nature, again, is very uh, much embodied in the spirit animal of the crab. You, again, defend yourself and your territory, whatever that may be, without hesitation, you know, you jump to it. You don't shy away from any confrontation, actually, you know, sometimes it's agreeable with you. Not so much you like it, but it agrees with you. It's you're able to hold your own. You're always ready to express your grievances openly, you know, with a tender yet rock solid rebuttal. Again, that duality, you can show both sides often very eloquently in a debate or just expressing yourself on a tutorial or just an editorial, something like that. You are often told that you would do good, like on a debate team or as a defense lawyer, because you know, you often involve yourself too throughout the day in little arguments just because you can't stand for something to go on that is seemingly inappropriate or, you know, wrong or maybe putting things negatively toward you. You know, you're quick, quick to act and also hard headed, right? And fixed, very fixed in nature. And to leave you guys off with one last theme that is associated with this spirit animal. The crab spirit proves that, you know, immensely powerful and capable things, battle ready things come in small packages. You know, crabs are quite small, even the largest crab, right? And that using an open mind constantly to transform and by which that transformation is obtained, it, you know, gives you a tougher outlook, you know, as armor right as you transform you gain something even stronger right the lessons and the outcome of transformation and metamorphosis in nature is always to have something that is better equipped and is again something more preferable so guys i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart thank you for liking thank you for taking the time to listen to this again this was all about the crab spirit animal guys blessings love and light